Hello everyone. Today we'll be solving one question uh, from the kinematics of machine and applying some concepts of uh, this uh, mechanical vibrations. So if we, if I read the question, it is asking a rigid uh, uniform annular disc which has been shown in the figure also is pivoted on a knife edge in a uniform gravitational field G such that it can execute small amplitude. Okay, in a simple harmonic motion, it means it is an oscillatory motion without slip at the pivot point. The inner radius r and the outer radius r is such that r square is equal to r square by 2 and the acceleration due to gravity is g. Now if the time period of this small amplitude simple harmonic motion is given by t is equal to beta pi square root of r by gravitational field where pi is the ratio of circumference or diameter of circle then beta we have to find right. So we will start by applying the torque method given. What is given to us is R square is equal to R square by 2, right? Now, and uh, by applying the torque method, we will just assume that this disk is rotating in the anti clockwise direction and is distributed by the small angle theta, right? As of now, and if I assume so, this would be the weight mg, right? So no further, if I apply, if I apply the D Lambert rule, right, now if it is moving in the anti-clockwise direction and is distributed by the angle theta, then the moment of inertia would be I into theta, right, and as, and, and the weight if you calculate it as per the weight mg, it would become mg r sin theta, right? And what does the Lambert rule states? It would become this at this point. If we apply, it would become I a into theta, right? Plus mg into r sin theta, right? equal to 0 right this is the dl number rule now we know that this theta has been distributed by the small angle theta so this sine theta would be equal to so this sine theta would be equal to theta right and if we write it it would become i a theta plus mg into r theta which is equal to Zero. So this would be our first equation. Further, we will apply parallel axis theorem on it, right? Which states that moment of inertia at point A is equal to moment of inertia at a gravitational point plus m r square, right? Now we have to calculate the moment of inertia at point G, right? So we will consider an area element d A along the disk right so it would become da is equal to 2 pi x dx right and mass of differential element how it would be written dm is equal to m by a into da right and if i write the area it would become dm is equal to m by pi into r square minus r square into 2 pi x dx right now further if we differentiate this dij is equal to moment of inertia x square right so this is basic integration it would become m divided by pi of r square minus r square into 2 pi x dx into x square now if we integrate it from both sides it 
it would become i g is equal to m by two r square plus r square. Right. Now we know that r square is equal to capital R square by two, so it i g would become three by four. M R square, right? Now, if we substitute this I G, in second equation, right, which is I A is equal to I G plus M R square, then I A would become. Five by four m r square, right? And if we substitute this i a in equation one, right? So it would become five by four m r square. Theta plus m g r by square root of two into theta is equal to zero. Right. So if we solve it out, it will become four g divided by five square root of two r. So theta is equal to zero. Right. And if we compare it with the standard equation, which is x square x plus w Which is the oscillatory equation? It would become two divided by square root of five square root of two. The whole square of g by r. We know that time period is equal to two pi by omega, right? So it would become two pi divided by two divided by square root of five into two g by r. Understood? Now further, if we calculate, then time would become square root of five, square root of two pi, square root of r by g. Now if we compare it with time, the equation which has been given to us, which is t is equal to Beta pi square root of r by g, then our beta would become square root of five square root of two, right? And if we solve this out, beta would come approx two point six six, which is the answer for it, right? So this is how we will solve this type of. Thank you.